welcome to the weekly news update here on Crypto TV Plus and a happy Valentine's Day to you as it is the 14th of February 2024. I'm your guide to everything crypto, Nikkei Roshini, and let's jump straight into the headlines. Coming up, Digitech's future CEO charged for breaking banking rules. Right after, EU committee gives thumbs up to first ever AI rules. Shifting gears, Japan's finance watchdog suggests tougher rules for peer-to-peer -peer cryptocurrency deals. Finally, Crypto.com seeks permission from Hong Kong regulators to run a cryptocurrency exchange. Upcoming events and more to come, but quickly on the market trades today, Bitcoin is up at $51,000, Ethereum is also up at $2,000, BNB is at $334, Solana is at $115, and dollar scenario rates are still above $1,000 to a dollar. Now let's get you updated on the Crypto Weekly News. We begin with some interesting news, as in legal developments, the founder of Digitex Futures, Adam Colin Todd, faces charges in a U.S. federal court for violating the Bank Secrecy Act. Now, the act, crucial in combating financial crimes, mandates the establishment of an anti-money laundering AML program. Todd allegedly neglected this, exposing the platform to potential misuse for money laundering and illegal activities. Now, the charges were brought forth by the U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Florida on the 12th of February following an investigation by the FBI Miami. Todd, who operated an unregistered futures platform, faces up to five years of jail if found guilty. Now, this indictment follows a $16 million penalty imposed seven months ago for failing to register with the U.S. Commodity Futures Trading Commission, CFTC, with additional accusations of price manipulation. Coming up next in our next story, in a groundbreaking move, the European Parliament's Internal Market and Civil Liberties Committees have given the green light to pioneering regulations for artificial intelligence, AI, on the 13th of February. Now, this marks a historic step toward the world's first AI-focused legislation set for a parliamentary vote in April. The AI Act aims to establish guidelines across various industries, including banking, automotive, electronics, aviation, security, and law enforcement, overseeing models like OpenAI's ChatGPT. The 7128 vote follows member states' approval with France's objection withdrawn, leading to consensus for reducing administrative burdens on high-risk AI systems and enhancing protection for business secrets. After a December 2023 political agreement, a final compromise text was approved by lawmakers on the 2nd of February, accumulating in a significant step forward for AI as noted by the European Parliament Committee on Civil Liberties on the X social platform. In recent news, taking things to Japan as the financial services agency FSA has proposed measures targeting peer-to-peer -peer transactions due to concerns about fraudulent links to cryptocurrency assets. The FSA, in collaboration with the National Police Agency, urges banks to enhance user protection and monitor unlawful transfers to cryptocurrency asset exchanges. A noteworthy recommendation suggests halting transfers if the sender's name differs from the account name. Now, this has sparked concerns about potential disruptions in the P2P market, where such transactions often involve different names. While the FSA presents these as recommendations, the response from banks and the impact on the P2P market are uncertain. Wrapping up our news today, Crypto.com, a US-based cryptocurrency exchange, has applied for a license to operate in Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Securities and Futures Commission, SFC, received their application on the 9th of February. Now, this move adds Crypto.com to the list of 17 applicants, including Bybit, Bullish, OKX, and BX, vying for regulatory approval. Now, the SFC set a strict deadline of the 29th of February for license applications with potential closures for unapproved exchanges by the 31st of May. So far, only OSL and Hashkey 
Exchange have received approval, while 18 applications are still in process. Crypto.com's move reflects ongoing industry interest in the Asian market. Now, the SFC's clear stance is to shut down unlicensed exchanges in Hong Kong to protect investors. Now, they also advise users to verify their platform's license status and consider transferring accounts to licensed platforms before the 31st of May deadline. However, the SFC emphasizes that applying for a license doesn't guarantee approval, leaving the fate of Twitter.com and other applicants uncertain. Finally, on blockchain events to come, crypto enthusiasts gather here, get ready to dive into the blockchain party of the year as Ether Denver 2024 kicks off from February 23rd to March 3rd in the vibrant city of Denver, Colorado. It's not just a conference, it's a celebration of all things blockchain, culture, and education. Join the tribe at the heart of the decentralized revolution and let's build the future together. Now that wraps up this week's cryptocurrency news on Crypto TV Plus. If you're hungry for more juicy market updates and the latest buzz in the blockchain and cryptocurrency space, head over to our website at CryptoTVPlus.com. Catch us on our social media as well as we are on Facebook at Crypto TV Plus on X as well at Crypto TV Plus on Instagram at Official Crypto TV Plus. And don't miss out on our daily scoop by subscribing to our YouTube channel. Hit that notification bell so you're always in the loop. Hey, got burning questions about any of our stories or any of our news at all? Drop them in the comment section below and let's get the conversation started. Big thanks for tuning in. I'm once again Nikki Oshini and until next time, stay crypto savvy.